came in and my granny was like, what? Sick? Fever? And then she came running with food and medicine. Most importantly, food, of course. Yummy? Had the worst sleep ever. I don't know what was up with Isaac, but he just kept crying. When he was finally sleeping, it was 5 a.m. And he woke up at 7.30. He's usually such a good sleeper. He'll go down at 9. He'll sleep for at least 10, 11 hours. But yesterday, he just didn't sleep well. I checked the temperature of the room. I flipped his pillow. Um, I give him some milk. I give him some water. I give him cow pole. Um, I changed his diaper. <laughs> I did everything and nothing worked. <laughs> tea. I need tea. I think that's the thing about kids. You put them down at 8, they'll wake up at 7. You put them down at 9, they'll wake up at 7. You put them down at midnight, they'll wake up at 7. You put them down at 5 a.m., they'll wake up at 7. Ah, oh, that's good. I think I got a cold because last night was really cold. And, you know, the bed wasn't so warm, but I kept getting out and getting back in. And then I was getting out, and then I was getting back in. Then I was getting out and back in, out and back in. I know this is a myth, and people say that you can't get sick uh, from the cold, but the cold lowers your immune system, so technically you can. When I was like driving, I kept sneezing. You know how sometimes, when, sometimes, you know every time when you drive, you don't want to like shut your eyes, but when you sneeze, it forces shut. So I was like, I'm... Is it weird that I make beef stew and then I eat it with rice? It goes really well together, really. And besides, I'm Chinese. No rice, no life. <sighs> Just when he gets better, he gets sick again. Poor thing. I do you feel guilty because he's fine for the whole week and then he goes to daycare. Eight or nine out of ten, he'll end up like just being really fussy afterwards and then the next day he'll be like really sick. I feel like crap. <laughs> Getting double vision, like I think I'm just getting emotional. <sighs> Where's your dad, Isaac? Oh, thank you, baby. I think you need it more. I think you need it more. <laughs> so today is the day we fix the hair. So as you guys know, I put a darker color. It was supposed to be light brown, and it came out as like dark brown. And then, yes, I even changed it to one of my mum's like old tops so I can do my hair. The first thing I'm going to do is to remove it. So I'm using a hair color remover. I just removed all of the color, as you can see. So just to be safe, I'm going to bleach all over my hair to make sure it's one coat, hopefully, before we put on our color. Feeling a lot better, by the way. I think this morning I was just... Slightly emotional. Um, it's kind of what, well, not fever, diarrhea. It's what diarrhea can do to you. That's the thing about mood, guys. You can't trust it. You can wake up thinking, oh, my life is great. My son is wonderful. My husband's great. I love my job, blah, blah, blah. And then something happens and it puts you in a crappy mood. And suddenly you question everything and you're like, life is so hard. And you start pitying yourself. Oh, why is my, my son uh, so naughty? Uh, why is Tim not here? Just need to give it some time. I actually always confide in my little sister, April. She is my little rock. You guys are used to seeing me being positive, or at least most of the time. But my sister, like whenever I'm, whenever I'm down or frustrated, she is the one that sees it all. I love my baby sister. She's so sweet. Vicious, but um, very sweet. So since I'm doing all over my head, it's a lot easier for me to do um, compared to the roots. And I think because the first time I was really rushing it because I was rushing to collect Isaac from daycare. So this time I'm just taking my time. Speaking of daycare, we're thinking of pulling Isaac out. I mean, the teachers are wonderful. He's adapting well, but every week when he goes, he picks up something and, you know, I feel really guilty. So we just don't think it's worth it. I went to Sally's and I got all the tools and accessories and uh, the proper colors. It's the last time I'm gonna be using box dyes unless it's the Japanese ones. I'm toning my 
my hair since Tim's mom is back. She is going to be taking care of him while I'm back in my mom's house doing my hair. Amazing like how you can get married and you can end up being a mother but when you're back home home your mother or even your grandmother still treats you like a child. I came in and my granddad's like what? Sick? Fever? And then she came running with food and medicine. Most importantly, food, of course. She didn't care what medicine I was taking. She was like, you have to take this. Ever since I was young, whenever like I would get a sore tummy, um, she would make me take this. <sighs> mini Maltesers, mini Maltesers, mini Maltesers. My dad, you guys really don't know much about him, and I'm only mentioning my dad because I was mentioning my mom and my granny. And, you know, I mentioned that, like, growing up, I never really had much conversation with my dad. And, you know, I it, it used to really get to me because, you know, he would never wish me happy birthday. So it's not really in his nature to express how he feels. I know he does love us. There was a time when I was really down, and another time when I was, like, quite sick in hospital. And, you know, my dad was never like, are you okay? Do you need anything? But I did know that, you know, a long time later that during that time, my dad's uh, heart um, pressure went up a lot and um, he was struggling to sleep. My mom was telling me and I was like, oh, instead of, but was he okay? And we wait again and we're done. It's getting dark so you can't really tell. So I'll show you tomorrow. So much effort to get the same color. And the cool thing is I just put my mom's nightie and I'm just going to drive home like this. Ready to go home. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> Granny Bob's give me a big bag of food. She was like, how many do you want? And I was like, um, three. She doubled it. <laughs> to be fair though, I, I did know that. Bye bye, Papa. Bye bye, Papa. Bye. Hey, I was reading your comments on Instagram and one comment really made me laugh. You mentioned that um, <laughs> when she's older, she wants to have a child. She can dress up like an old man. And that was when it occurred to me that, oh my goodness, I, I totally do that to Isaac. Being raised by my granny bubs, she dressed us all in pretty hideous clothes. And you guys know I adore her and you know, it's, it's no problem. But um, I used to think maybe it's because she didn't really know much about fashion. When I was pregnant with Isaac, I was buying all these cute outfits and you know, I had this idea that he's gonna be this, this, not swag baby, but like a mini Taeyang. Does this look like a mini Taeyang to you? <laughs> and then you turn into your parents. Thank you. Oh, I dropped this. You realize that what's most important to you is that your child's comfortable. Not that he's looking stylish. As you can see, he's wearing these fleece pajama bottoms. <laughs> and yeah. So that's all we care about. Oh. He always tries to snuggle up with the dogs. So I guess I'm just like Granny Buzz. Oh, no, he's crawling. <laughs>